Marcia, I'm home. Well, it's about time. Hey, look what I got at Trader Joe's. Yeah, but it's an orchid. They sell them there all the time. Oh. Well, I guess I never really noticed before. Marsha, look at it. This one's awesome. Look at the color here on the petals. It's got this sort of glow that shades from white to bright pink. And, and there are these little red spots all around this amazing thing that sticks out here in the center. I'm not a big fan of orchids, but it'll probably look good over there on top of the TV. Why don't you just set it down so it can die in peace? <laughs> You know, I heard on NPR that the name orchid comes from a Greek word meaning testicles. <laughs> that thing in the center that you like so much does look kind of phallic. Yeah, I bet it's its reproductive organ. Look how big it is. <laughs> it's really hard, too. <laughs> what a cool plant. Whoa, the roots, they're really firm, too. <laughs> Did you get the cilantro in the Rioja? Isn't that what you went for? Oh, uh, I forgot that stuff. <coughs> Look, I just got really distracted looking at all the orchids they had. I mean, each one of them was different. This one was calling out to me. He's really special. Okay, so you have a special relationship with this plant. What about dinner? Bill and Fred are gonna be here in half an hour. Watch out. Watch out. Hey, I wanna Google orchids. Look, I want to look up everything I can about how to take care of this little guy. Instead of ceviche, why don't we just have, just mix the seafood with some canned marinara sauce and we can have it with pasta. Ooh. Plus, I think someone left a bottle of Charles Shaw from the last party. Jesus, Vince, I could have done that while you were spending an hour at Trader Joe's pawing through the orchid table. You're the obsessive gourmet cook who has to have everything just so. Charles Shaw? Really? <laughs> okay, what do we got? It's a phalaenopsis <laughs> plant. All right, phalaenopsis. P-H-A-L-A-E-N-O-P-S-I-S. -S. All right. Phalaenopsis care instructions. Ooh. Big Leaf Orchids Online Phalaenopsis Store. <gasps> oh my god, Mark, you come look at this one on their webpage. It's, it's green and purple and yellow. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you know, I hate to tell you this, but that plant you're so infatuated with was grown in a factory greenhouse with millions of others just like it. Just like an industrial chicken farm where the birds shit on each other and peck each other's eyes out. Nobody grows these things, they just throw them out once they finish blooming. Like uh, Christmas trees and poinsettias after Christmas. Or uh, pumpkins after Halloween. Easter eggs after Easter. Well, I got it for you for Mother's Day. Oh, so now Mother's Day is how you rationalize it. Vince, we don't even have any children. <laughs> so now all of a sudden this plant is for me, huh? Well, I don't want it. It's all yours. You know, I'm gonna go make the pasta and open up the tube up chuck so it can breathe. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Native throughout Southeast Asia, from the Himalayan mountains to the islands of Palilo and Palawan of the Philippines, Phalaenopsis shows a monopodial growth habit, an erect growing rhizome produces from the top one or two thick Fleshy elliptical leaves per year. <laughs> yeah, Marty, I don't know what's wrong with him. No, he's totally obsessed. Orchids, in practically every room of the house. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No, I haven't said anything yet. Yeah. Well, look, I'm, I'm home now, so I gotta let you go, okay? All right, yeah, talk later. Vince, where are you? Oh, shit. Uh... What the hell are you doing? Not cooking, obviously. Um, so, look, calm down, Marsha, okay? I, I, I didn't want to do this while you were home because I knew you wouldn't like it. But since you're back, I might as well come clean. These are orchid flasks. 
Orchid flasks. Yeah, check it out. The UPS guy just dropped these off. Each flask contains about 30 baby orchids growing in nutrient agar. And what I do is I can plant them in the pots with sphagnum moss. 30 orchid plants. And you have how many flasks? 10. Vince, that's 300 orchid plants. What are you going to do with 300 orchid plants? That one you brought home from Trader Joe's last year was one too many. Well, the idea is that I keep them. I mean, we keep them. Uh -huh. And we grow them until they bloom. And we see which ones are the best. We use those as parents to breed more. Breed more? Yeah. Are you totally insane and out of your mind? You already have hundreds of orchid plants growing in the carport. I can't even go out there without a machete to slash through the vegetation. <laughs> You've got orchids growing in the sun porch. And when you water the ones that are hanging on the wall, the water drips down and rots the floor. There's mushrooms coming up out there. You've got orchids in the shower for crying out loud. <laughs> now you've even got them in our bedroom. Those are just the ones being quarantined because of the mealy bugs. You know they're only in there for a couple of weeks while I spray them with pesticides. <laughs> yeah, they're so overpopulated that they're generating their own plagues. First it was scale, then it was fungus gnats. Now it's mealy bugs. What do we have? Seven more plagues to go? Look, don't say that, Marsha. Listen. These are the firstborn children. I don't want them to die off by damping or mold or... Let me see that. Ugh. That is disgusting. What do you do with it? Well, I wash the agar down the sink and I rinse the seedlings off. Not in my kitchen you don't. <laughs> I've been doing it for months and you've never objected. I never objected because I had no idea you were abusing our kitchen this way. Ugh. <laughs> don't you get it? The flasks are the way to pay for more orchids. I can raise the babies and sell them on eBay. I mean, you've been complaining for months about how I'm spending teen like money on plants. Well, don't you see, this is the solution. Oh, so now you're planning on dealing to support your habits. Well, I hate to break it to you, but somebody's got to do some work around here. Obviously not you, since you got yourself fired. Thanks. Are the dishes in the dishwasher clean? Yeah, I got it. What? Yeah. What the hell? What have you got in the dishwasher? Are, are you growing orchids in there now, too? No, I'm just sterilizing some pots. I'll get them out. Pots? You put filthy flower pots in the dishwasher? Let me see that. Vince, you put the flower pots in with the dishes! What are you thinking? <laughs> That's like eating off the floor! <laughs> no, the hot water kills all the fungus and bacteria and bugs. <laughs> And we can reuse the pots again. I am not eating off these, dish these dishes. I'm calling Giuseppe's and ordering a pizza. At least I'll know it wasn't cooked in the same kitchen that's filled with fungus and bacteria and bugs and... Here's what I think of your orchid babies. Wait, don't, you're gonna kill them. Well, sometimes I wish I could. Those plants are all you ever think about. I may as well not even be here. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry I yelled at you like that. I know how obsessed you are by your orchids, but please don't do that stuff in the kitchen. Where am I supposed to do it then? I have to have running water. I don't know. It's late. I don't want to think about it. I want to order a pizza. Do it outside with a hose. I can't. I have to have a place that's clean and warm. These are tropical orchids, Marsha. Maybe I could use the guest bathroom. In fact, wait, I could use that whole room. Yeah, I could have racks of shelves with grow lights, so I could have even more flasks. I could keep all my supplies in the closet. Listen, we'll get rid of the bed, and we'll put up stainless steel shelves, and we'll rip out the carpet, and put down tile, and the whole bathroom. No, 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 no. I am not having orchids in my guest bedroom and bathroom. What if someone from out of town comes to visit? What would we tell them? They've gone crazy and turned the house into a botany lab? <laughs> Nobody ever visits from out of town except your mother. <laughs> and she can sleep on the sofa. <gasps> Vince, this isn't working. I'm so fed up with those plants that I could puke. 
You won't even go to the grocery store anymore except to get more plants. I have had it. Fine. If that's the way you feel, maybe you should just move out. Get your own space. Then I can have this whole kitchen to myself and use it for flasking. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> okay, you know what? If that's the way you want it, then I am out of here. I'd kick you out, but I don't want to live in this place anymore now that you've trashed it with your water spills and bugs and insecticides and debris all over the floors, and I don't want to have to help you move all this crap out. Hi, Marty. Yeah, it's me. I did it. I'm free! Wait, who the hell is Marty? <laughs> Wasn't that an awesome lecture on ambroquids in East Africa? Yeah. I just love these orchid society meetings. I wish they could have them every week. You know, Vince, I'm so glad I met you there. I mean, what are the chances of two people who love orchids as much as we do ever getting together? <laughs> Not very good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Vince, look! These dendrobiums have a little spot of mold on them! We've got to get them out quick. Can we set up here on the counter? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna check out some stuff online real quick. What? <laughs> Where do you keep your sphagnum moss? Uh, in the pantry. Oh, no! <laughs> I have a kit with everything I need to start doing glass blowing. <laughs> oxygen regulator, a 12-foot hose, and a torch. Then all I need is the tanks and the glass tubing. Hey, Heather, uh, uh, you think I should get the two inlet or the four inlet torch? This is going to be so cool. I can get all those plants out of the sun porch and use that as a starter studio. <laughs>